we have already seen what uh, inverse of a matrix is we have also seen how to find the inverse but let's see how we can find the inverse of a matrix using elementary operations technique remains the same just like uh, in the previous session let's say a is equal to a very apparent right and a matrix is equal to itself but what we can do is we can say that a is equal to identity matrix of order n of course this is a square matrix a is also a square matrix of order n so i n times a can we say that yes anything multiplied with the identity matrix remains as it is now what we do is we carry out elementary operations so that this becomes i identity matrix and we carry out the same operations we carry out the same operations on the identity matrix so that this gets converted to another matrix say b we don't touch a so what happens this b would be the inverse of inverse of a why because remember a times a inverse is equal to identity here we are saying well, let's write it in the right order so a inverse times a equal to i here what we are saying is b times a is equal to i so which means if we compare these two equations what we end up saying is b is equal to a inverse let's see let's see by doing this for a matrix let's say a is equal to 1 1 3 1 3 minus 3 minus 2 minus 4 minus 4 we have to find the inverse right so 1 1 3 1 3 minus 3 minus 2 minus 4 minus 4 is equal to identity matrix of the same order so 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and a remains as it is so let's do the row operations r2 r2 minus r1 r3 r3 plus 2 r1 let's start off with that so 1 1 3 remains as it is this becomes 0 0 3 minus r1 3 minus 1 2 minus 3 minus 3 minus 6 minus 2 plus 2 ones 2 so 0 minus 4 plus 2 minus 2 minus 4 plus 6 2 now we do the same operations to the identity matrix this remains as it is r2 minus r1 so this becomes minus 1 1 0 r3 plus 2 r1 so 2 0 1 divide the second row by 2 and third row by 2 let's divide it so that we get ones so r2 r2 by 2 r3 r3 by 2 so 1 1 3 0 1 minus 3 0 
minus 1 1 same thing to the identity matrix 1 0 0 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 0 2 by 2 is 1 0 and 1 by 2 a remains as it is now this we have to make it as 0 so r1 r1 minus r2 this also we need to make it as 0 so r3 r3 plus r2 so let's do this 1 this remains as it is 1 minus 1 0 3 minus minus 3 is 6 0 1 minus 3 0 0 minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 same thing here 1 no this is r1 minus r2 1 minus minus half so 1 plus half 1 plus half is 3 by 2 0 minus half so minus half 0 minus half half 0 this is plus so 1 minus half is half 0 plus half is half half yes let's divide this by minus 2 so r3 r3 since minus is there we need, need to take it out 1 0 6 0 1 minus 3 0 0 1 same thing on the right hand side 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 0 minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 0 and by 2 so minus 1 now divide by 2 so this would not be minus 1 it would be 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 4 a remains as it is now that row 3 is 0 we make this as 0 and this as 0 by using that so r1 r1 minus 6 r3 r2 r2 plus 3 r3 so here r1 minus 6 times r3 so 0 so this remains as it is this remains as it is this becomes 0 0 1 plus so 0 now this remains as 1 this becomes r3 minus 3 plus 3 so 0 this remains as it is same operations here r1 is 3 by 2 minus 6 r3 3 by 2 minus 6 times minus 1 by 4 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 becomes 0 minus 6 times minus 1 by so this is 1 plus so minus times minus is plus so this becomes 6 by 2 6 by 2 is let's stick to 6 by 2 itself as of now what happens to this r1 so minus half minus 6 times minus half r3 1 by 4 so 2 3 so minus half plus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 so one and a half minus half is 1 
so 1 similarly r1 is 0 minus 6 times minus 1 by 4 so this is 6 by 4 which is 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 now r2 r2 minus minus half plus 3 times r3 so minus 1 by 4 so half minus 3 by 4 minus 2 minus 3 by 4 so minus 5 by 4 minus 5 by 4 the next is you need to be very careful half plus 3 times minus 1 by 4 so half minus 3 by 4 should come to minus 1 by 4 and r2 plus r2 now here it is 0 0 plus 3 r3 so minus 3 by 4 and this remains as it is minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 and a remains as it is so this has become the identity matrix so which means this is the inverse so identity matrix is equal to a inverse a a is as it is so which means this is the inverse but this also can be simplified by taking out 1 by 4 as a common factor so what we'll end up with is 12 4 6 minus 5 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 so that's it for today. Bye for now.